Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is replace this this old wore out threshold down here. There, and then we're going to put us a door bottom on the bottom of the door. Well, the first thing you want to do is you need to measure the bottom of the door. Like this side here is 13 sixteenths. This side over here is like an inch and that's pretty much one inch. So that's yeah, inch and sixteenth to be exact. So if you don't want to cut the door off, then the best thing to do is just because we need a quarter of an inch from the door to our I mean excuse me, we need a half an inch from our door down to the new threshold. So if we did a half inch here, that means we've only got to have a half inch on this side. But on this side, where it's only 13 sixteenths, that would only give us like a quarter of an inch. So we're going to have to cut the bottom of the door off straight across to the concrete so that we've got one inch all the way across. So if we do that, we might end up cutting it an inch and an eighth. So we can get a piece of three quarter inch material in there. Anything much less than that is going to warp really bad unless you can find aluminum. I don't particularly like these type of door thresholds because of this rubber insert that never seals after a day or two. And especially during the winter they don't seal at all because this stuff gets really hard. And plus over time you can see where this thing gets all tore up whether it be bringing in appliances or dragging stuff across it now what i've done is i've made one out of treated lumber and i've cut the two ends in keep it from being a trip hazard and then i've got this wide area right here but our weather strip is going to go on the bottom of the door so we need to get this set in and then we measure from here up to the bottom of the door. It's got to be exactly a half an inch. It can be less, but it cannot be more. And then, uh, then we'll, I'll show you how to attach the door bottom onto the bottom of the door so that we can get a good weather strip. That way we don't have to worry about anything on here getting tore up like this one here. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut it in for the jam on both sides and the lengths and everything so we'll get this to fit. That's just more or less just doing it yourself with measurements and whatever. Okay, you can see we've got it cut in and I did kind of a lousy cutting job there. This side here I did really well. Look, that's on the outside, which means we'll talk it up and paint it. But uh, the main thing I wanted to do, being that these two jams are a little different, is I wanted the exact same amount on the inside. So what I did, you can see we have this flat spot across here, which works the whole area of the door area. The same thing over here, but since this one's a little different, We've got a little transition difference there, but other than that, and then plus I bob off the corners a little bit, kind of give it a little bit more of a finished look rather than just having some straight corners. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna screw this thing down and we use some concrete screws for that. Only bad thing is you can see that this door is in here crooked. I had nothing to do with that because the concrete shows a little off, but I'll show you how we can fix that. Okay, move on. Okay, what I'm gonna do is show you a couple of different ways to uh, screw this thing down. The first one we're gonna do is we're gonna use those, those blue screws that are designed to go in. So we'll do that one first.
The only bad thing about these is that once you put them in, they hold really, really well for, for each one of these because this is going to take a bigger bit. Okay, take these plastic anchors. Once you get the right hole, drive them in. Okay, we got them all in. Doesn't matter if they smash down or anything. Once a screw touches hold of them, they're gonna go on through. Alrighty, now we're using these concrete screws, but with these plastic anchors, you can use any of these screws. You can use these deck screws. They're just as good. Make sure they're, make sure they're the uh, They're, they're designed for decks and stuff. In other words, they're for outside. That one there is the one where we hit that piece of rebar. That one too, so we're not going to get nothing in there. So we'll use those short, use these short ones here. They'll work just as good. Okay, that way if you ever need to adjust this thing, these screws will come out really easy. No matter how long they've been in there because that plastic keeps them away from the concrete, keeps them growing roots against that concrete. All right, I'm gonna close the door. See, when the door is closed, We've got a nice straight line on the inside. And so that'll probably get painted the same as the trim, or it might get stained, I don't know. And one thing I forgot to mention, this is treated. So we don't have to, we don't have to worry about ants or termites. Okay, now the next thing. Oh boy. This is where it gets critical. Because now we need to come up exactly a half an inch above the flat part of that threshold so we can cut the bottom of the door so we can put our door bottom on there. So what we do, of course this is fairly simple, but uh, and then mark right there Give me a feather, come from the flat spot, come up exactly half an inch, and the reason we come up that much is because when this thing starts, when this uh, door starts moving around because the concrete's going to start moving, you know, these old garage, I mean, uh, these old doors on concrete, they're constantly moving around. Well, even on pier and beam, they're constantly moving around. This gives us plenty of room. So in case if we need to adjust it down or adjust it up. Now remember, when we cut this thing, we want to cut that mark or below. We don't want to come up any higher because it makes it too hard, too hard for us to adjust that door bottom. And by the way, the door bottom we're going to put on this door is adjustable. So, and it can be adjusted while it's on the door, which makes it a real simple fix if, it, if you have a problem. All right, we're gonna set this thing up and cut it. <laughs> 